Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? Well, we're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 10. Number 8. And number 3. Okay, looks like we're going to the number 21. 21 in tarot is the world card. Your person's starting to get their karma. Or what I always believe is that when somebody does you wrong and they walk away from you, that's when the karma begins. That's my viewpoint, mm -hmm. especially when there's unfinished business or somebody's not taking full responsibility for their actions. You know, karma is a fickle thing. It can come in all at once, and sometimes it piles and layers up in segments. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or another Scorpio born in the month of October, you could also be dealing with a Leo or Virgo born in the month of August. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. You may also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November, picking up on Sagittarius and Capricorn energy born in the month of December. I've got Aries energy coming in through the power of number zero and the number one, including, uh, again, Virgo, Gemini, Cancerian energy through the number 18, more Scorpio energy through the number 13 as well. And you may be also dealing with another fixed sign, again, that would be Aquarius, Taurus, possibly a Leo, and again, maybe even a Scorpio. Some of you are 20, 21, 23, or 28 years of age. Others of you could be 30, 31, 32, or 38 years old. You might have been born in 1980, 1981, 1982, and possibly 1983 for some of you. So either way, Go into the power of number 21 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. Messages from your person. What's going on with them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, And 21. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Oh, temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. They do want to reconcile with you or have some kind of harmony and or balance. It is about an ebb and flow between the two of you. Why do they want this reconciliation? Yeah, because they know deep down inside you are their twin flame or soulmate. Four of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What a beautiful setup here. <laughs> I like that energy. Yeah. They want you back. Let's see what's going on in their environment. Mm. 
You could be dealing with somebody who is also in the military. We have the high honor card. I feel like they're thinking like positive thoughts about you, Scorpio. Mm, there could also be a family dynamic that's also going on. So this could also be the desire to want to build a family with you or combine, combine family units. Let's see what their higher self wants to say. Haha, <laughs> I lost myself for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, due to all those third party situations. I want to feel that way again. Something tells me, Scorpio, that even if they're with a third party, they're not getting the same kind of vibration frequency that they experienced with you with this third party. It almost feels like when they say, I lost myself, I feel like they're getting lost in their thoughts. Even if they're around the karmic and the karmic's family members or friends, their little social circle, um, it's like I'm seeing the the moon card and also the two of wands in my mind's eye just lost in their thoughts at a distance even the three of wands is about a distance as well some of you are in a long distance relationship or could be doing the online dating thing or they're daydreaming that's that's what i'm picking up they're thinking about this balance that they want to have with you so they are holding you in some kind of high regard. Your person could have been born on the 14th, the 4th, the 25th, and or possibly the 21st of a particular month. Mm, I'm hearing the song again from Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you. <clears throat> However, Prince is uh, telling me in my mind, he's like, uh, I wrote that song. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Prince. You got it. Ah. Uh, yeah, they are rapidly, it feels to me that they are rapidly switching their mindset here. What are we waiting for? Let's do this. So you know what that tells me? They're okay. They're ready. They're ready to come forward. They have this burning desire uh, to come forward, but I feel like this is what they're getting lost in their thoughts about. Let's see what I'll, oh, look at that. You got the big red rose. Oh my God. I get excited when I think about how incredible we could be together. So they are thinking about the possibility, Scorpio. So there's a bouquet of red roses and the one single red rose. This person is in love with you. They've gone from hot to cold before in the past. That is true. Yeah, see, they're feeling an unrequited love. An unrequited love towards the karmic. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. See, they second guess themselves before too in the past. But because they lost themselves for a little while, they're, you know, it, again, I just keep hearing or seeing the word daydreaming, daydreaming, daydreaming about you. Yeah, honeymoon. Thinking about what it would be like to go on a honeymoon. Like what would have happened if they would have married you or chose you? They're second guessing themselves. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. Okay, this is twofold. We need to let each other go. They told you that before in the past, but when we got reconciliation dominating over the energy, it's like now I think they're regretting this big time. But now they know that they need to let because there's an unrequited love with the third party. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. So they want, they're they going from cold back to hot again, Scorpio. Yep. Thinking about what could have been. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're ready to reconcile with you. It's just a matter of them strategizing how the hell they're going to get out of that other situation. Yep, they're thinking about you. Out with the old, in with the new. But you got the sign of Scorpio coming in through the death card. They're ready to go through the change or they know that they're going through a change. King of Cups, you know, yeah, that can represent you, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. You know, you could have felt like it was one cup up, one cup spilled over when they walked away or they felt like they needed to let you go. However, tables are going to turn because, again, looking at the power of the numbers that came off the roll of the dice, 21, they're at an end of a cycle and they got karma. So whoever they're dealing with, it's one cup up, one cup spilled over for them. There's a sense of disappointment. But why? Why are they disappointed with the karmic, please? This karmic might be a possible social butterfly. They may not be getting... Your person may not be getting the attention from this karmic like they used to. Something, something so false or fake or phony going on why are they disappointed with the karmic i think they're recognizing and realizing that they're just not their soulmate because they have a past because see they're thinking about the past this person's thoughts are going from <clears throat> back and forth and hot to cold scorpio mm-hmm they know they need to come forward. I think they're very highly concerned that they're going to have another missed opportunity with you. Yeah. They know that they should have married you. And instead, they possibly married somebody else or got into that karmic relationship. But they're going to be single pretty soon. Nine of Coins is the singlehood card. Yeah, look at that. Somebody's walking away. Eight of Cups. In the past, it was like that for the two of you. Again, tables are going to turn. Because again, first card out, it's the overall energy of the reading. They want reconciliation with you big time. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Running a four-question reading special for the month of June of 2024, $25 for four questions. So be sure, again, to email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and Victoria will definitely get you on my recording schedule for the week. My awesome Scorpios, if you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.